Hey, what's going on guys? Tibbs here from Disrupt Gaming, and in today's video, we're gonna continue our House of Defense series moving on to Lobby and Piano on Consulate. Now, the reason I decided to go over this objective is because I feel like it's one of the weaker sites that a lot of players have. So we're gonna go over that in this video. Let's get into it. So when it comes to defending the Lobby objective on Consulate, you're gonna to wanna to run a Smoke, a Jaeger, some sort of anchor info operator like the Echo Mesh or the Dock. In this case, we're gonna use the Dock with the Bulletproof. You're gonna to wanna to run a Malusi, and as for your last operator, we're going to go ahead and bring a pulse. Now, when it comes to reinforcements, this objective doesn't really require too many. So we're going to go ahead and get the back three bathroom walls that face bench. We're going to get the single bathroom wall facing antechamber. Now, you're more than welcome to use a fifth wall somewhere in bathroom facing piano. Typically, I get the right side wall so that you don't get wall bang from yellow. And as for your last five reinforcements, we're going to go ahead and bring them upstairs just because this objective, if you look at circle desk or lobby, once the front door is open, there's pretty much nowhere for you to play defensively. So realistically, the best way to play this objective is from above. So we're going to make some holes and open up hatches so that we can get some lines of sight. But we're going to bring the reinforcements upstairs. We're going to go ahead and get the metal connector wall, the right side to projector walls or meeting walls. You're going to get the admin wall on the top of the visa stairs. And as for this last reinforcement, it's sort of situational. You can kind of move it around if you need it in certain spots. But in this case, we're going to go ahead and put it on the vending machine wall that leads to copy. Now, before we talk about utility, if you guys are enjoying this How to Defend series and you're not currently subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you guys don't miss a future video. But anyways, let's get back into it. So we're going to be starting off with the smoke so we can go over all of the rotation holes and line of sight. And smoke probably has the most important job, so pay attention. We're going to go ahead and start by opening up all of these circle dust hatches. And this is going to be for the pulse later because it could actually nitro up the hatches and deny some of the default plants. Then we're going to place our shield inside of antechamber facing front door just to have some cover, something to peek off of, use our nitros over to deny the plant front door. And then we're going to make a rotation hole into piano from bathroom, and we're also going to open up that piano hatch. Now we're going to go ahead and move upstairs because there's a lot to do. The reason we're playing upstairs on this objective is because if they open up front door, there's almost nowhere to play inside of circle desk. So the best thing we can do is play above and make some holes. So we're going to make a rotation hole in bathroom to yellow. And then we're going to make a line of sight on the right side of the bathroom door. This will be for the dock in this case. Then we're going to make our way to connector, make a connector rotate. And last but not least, we're going to go ahead and make a line of sight across the long desk wall. You don't have to make it all the way across. Um, just a few shots should suffice. And this will be for the dock to kind of help you out when you're playing up here. Now, as for positioning, you're going to start off by playing inside a projector. Now, the goal here is not to die. The goal here is to waste 30, maybe 45 seconds. Just a little bit of time. Once you feel pressured, you want to leave. You're definitely going to have to drop the hatch in this case, or you run back to connector. And the goal here is literally just to waste a little bit of time, shoot a couple drones, and then get out. So the goal here is after you drop, you're going to be playing inside of the objective. You're going to play behind your shield, and this will allow you to late game, use your smokes for the front door. You can maneuver on the site. There are smokes if they're pushing a different part of the map. But that's pretty much going to be the setup for smoke. And it is a lot to do, but this is definitely a setup that works. Now moving on to the Jaeger, his setup is pretty simple. We're going to start by placing an ADS at the front door. We're also going to place one of our barbs here as well. Our second ADS is going to go inside of antechamber, and this will just be used to cover the shield that goes here. And then we're going to bring our second piece of barb. We're going to place it on the bottom yellow stairs. Just put it right at the yellow doorway. And then our last ADS is going to go upstairs, and we're actually going to place it inside of projector. This will just give the smoke a little bit of cover from any nades that may be flying towards him, which is definitely likely. And then as for positioning, you are pretty much going to be roaming top floor. I recommend early round possibly roaming a little bit towards admin, shoot a couple drones. Don't lock yourself in admin. Maybe sit near vending and shoot some drones in copy or shoot some drones coming out of admin doorway. But the goal here is probably a minute in. You want to be inside of CEO. And the reason behind this is you're going to be one of the two other players helping this smoke out, contesting some of these longer range gunfights. But then you also have the CEO hatch to drop if you are getting pressured pretty heavily. Now moving on to the anchor roll. In this case, we're going to run the dock bulletproof. But if you do want to run the maestro, you can. I just recommend running the dock over the maestro in this case. Just because there are a few longer engagements that you're going to be taking that the 1.5 will help you out with. Now when it comes to our setup, we're going to go ahead and start by placing a bulletproof inside of circle desk just to face the front door. If you want to place this in piano, if you know a team is doing a piano push, you're more than welcome to do that as well. But we're going to make our way upstairs, and you remember the bathroom rotate and line of sight. I had the smoke make. This is going to be for the dock. In this case, you're actually going to get some really long angles from the safety of bathroom slash top yellow. 
to see all the way to the projector door. And then of course you also have the long desk engagements all the way down to vending. So these are just some longer range engagements that you might get into. So it's better to have the 1.5 in this case. But the whole point of playing upstairs and opening up the circle desk hatch is because if a team isn't pushing upstairs, if they're not trying to clear you guys up top, you're actually going to be able to sit with the dock on this hatch inside of long desk. And you're going to be able to see all the way down to the front door, which a lot of the time they're going to walk in the front door, try to go for a plant. So you'll be able to see them walk in and you'll be able to deny the plant from above. So this is realistically the reason we're playing upstairs. And you're just going to be up here pretty much taking gunfights just to help just fight some of these longer angles. Next, we're going to talk about the Malusi. In this case, we're running Malusi just because she kind of gives you a lot of info around the site, just placing her banshees around certain entry points on the objective. So we're going to start by placing our first banshee on this little table inside of Circle Desk. This will just cover anybody walking in the front door. Our second one's going to go on Grass, and this will just cover anybody running through Grass trying to come to the back of Lobby. And this is just really good to kind of slow them down before they get into the objective. Our last Banshee is going to go on the yellow side. Again, another entry point onto the site, so we just kind of want to slow them down just to give us a little bit of info and a little bit of time. Now, the Malusi is actually going to be the site player here, but she also is going to have a Nitro, so she can also Nitro any of the common default plant spots, possibly. So we're going to go ahead and bring a Nitro in this case, but her positioning is going to be inside of the objective. Now, when it comes to the objective, the safest spot for you to be is inside of bathroom because there's nowhere for you to really die. You can't really sit inside of Circle Desk because of the front door being opened. It's hard to kind of sit in Piano slash Ante because there's so many windows here that you might get cut off just trying to rotate around the objective. So the safest spot is going to be in Bathroom, but that's pretty much going to be your positioning. And then you kind of help out the smoke in any way that you can whenever the smoke does drop and comes back to sight. So you guys are just going to do your thing in sight, and that's about it. And last but not least, we have the Pulse. Now, the Pulse is a very important character as well. And the reason we're running the Pulse over the Valk, for example, is because the Pulse can give very active info and he can kind of maneuver around the map and see what's going on, which brings me to what you're going to do on the Pulse. So realistically, the start of the round, you want to try and find out what the attackers are doing. That means looking at any common entry point, like go to Visa, see if they're repelling admin windows, see if they're entering Visa. You could just do that safely from the basement. See if they're pushing yellow, opening up the front door. You just want to give as much info to your team as possible. And Pulse is realistically the best operator for this situation. Now, talking about these hatches, the reason we're opening up the hatches for the Pulse is because you can actually nitro some of the very common default plant spots inside of Circle Desk. You know, if they plant front door tucked in the right side corner, if they plant behind the bomb chassis, if they plant at the back of Circle Desk, you can pretty much nitro any one of these plant spots from the safety of basement. And then, of course, you also have the Pulse Scanner for your active info. Anyways, guys, that's going to be all from me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did so, don't forget to leave a like on the video. And if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell so you guys don't miss a future video. I'm glad you guys are enjoying this How to Defense series. If you guys want to leave a comment down below letting me know what map you want to see next, I was thinking Villa, but let me know what you guys want to see, and I'll do my best to get that out for you guys. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.